This video is for midwives and healthcare assistants who will be collecting samples for life study participants. This video shows how to collect cord blood. Before you collect the sample, please check whether the woman has consented to give biosamples and check that she is happy to give her baby's cord blood. Cord blood samples should be collected as soon as possible after delivery, once essential clinical duties have been carried out. Please note that sample collection should not interfere with delayed cord clamping or a parental request for physiological third stage. Please make sure that you have all the equipment ready before you start. All the equipment needed for sample collection can be found in the cord blood collection kit. Please refer to the life study folder for the location of the kit. Each kit contains green butterfly needle, a 20ml syringe, an inco sheet, a Ziploc plastic bag, three blood bottles, RNA tube with a blue cap, serum clot activator tube with a white cap, and a 50ml falcon tube pre-filled with heparin with an orange cap. A sample collection instruction sheet for midwives can be found in the life study folder. Before collecting the sample, you should print three of the women's life study stickers and place them onto each of the specimen collection tubes. Stickers should be printed as close to the time of sample collection as possible. Please watch the separate labelling video which shows how to do this. Samples should be collected by a midwife. Put on the non-sterile gloves. Place the placenta and the cord onto an inco sheet in the delivery room. Insert the butterfly needle into the vein or artery of the umbilical cord. Using professional judgment on the cord quality and blood volume in the cord, attach a 20ml syringe to the butterfly tubing. Fill the syringe with cord blood, avoiding drawing air bubbles through the syringe as much as possible. Air bubbles damage the blood cells. Some cords may require more than one puncture site in order to collect all available blood. Remove the syringe from the butterfly tubing. Discard the butterfly needle safely into a sharps container. Attach a clean butterfly onto the syringe containing the cord blood. Transfer the cord blood into the appropriate blood bottles in the following order. Firstly, the Tempest Blood RNA tube with the blue cap. Insert the butterfly needle into the vacutainer and fill the tube with blood and recap. Discard the butterfly needle into an appropriate sharps container. Secondly, the serum clot activator tube with the white cap. Fill the tube with 10 mils of blood and recap the tube. And thirdly, a 50 ml falcon tube pre-filled with heparin. Fill the tube with all the remaining blood and recap. Gently invert the full blood bottles 5 to 10 times to thoroughly mix the samples. Discard the syringe into the clinical waste. Place all the full bottles into the Ziploc bag. Place the sealed Ziploc bag containing the blood samples into the life study samples box located in the sluice room. Cord blood samples must be stored at room temperature whilst awaiting transfer to the laboratory. Do not put the bottles in the fridge. Discard the gloves. Wash your hands thoroughly. The midwife should record whether a sample was given using the checklist kept in the woman's notes. If a sample was not given, please ensure that a reason, for example consent declined, is provided. Finally, the logbook in the Slabel Ward sluice room should be completed. For further information on the sample collection process, please contact the Life Study Research Midwives.